Yes, the history of uh, Meals on Wheels of Greater Hyde Park started in 1975, just with a group of people who were interested in taking care of senior citizens. My name is Jack Fenton. I've been involved with Meals on Wheels since 2008, after I retired from working for the state of New York. I've been a volunteer driver and on the board of directors for the last dozen years. One of my friends and colleagues who had retired before I did, Alan Scott, came to uh, work on Meals on Wheels and I saw him at a Christmas party and said, what are you doing with your free time? And he said, uh, Meals on Wheels. And since my wife didn't want me hanging around the house, just cluttering things up, I started volunteering for Meals on Wheels. First of all, you have to have difficulty either shopping for or preparing your own meals. That's the qualification to be 60 years of age and older, or have a disability that would present those same limitations. You receive a hot meal prepared right here in the kitchen at the United Methodist Church of Hyde Park, delivered hot to your door. Most people eat the hot meal at lunchtime. For an additional dollar, you can also get a second meal consisting of a sandwich and a second dessert, because everybody gets dessert. It's $23 a week for five hot meals delivered directly to your door. That's been the same since February of 2011. And the only reason we've been able to keep the price the same is that we uh, access funding from other grants, community foundations of the Hudson Valley, um, Field Hall Foundation, and other organizations that will support us, and the community supports us as well. Most people, when they think of Meals on Wheels, they, they, it, it's a positive response you get from that. And what we do when we contact the community for support, which we usually do in October, our Founders Month, we ask people to support us so that we can keep the meals as reasonably priced as, as possible. The only staff we have are the chef, a kitchen coordinator, a manager, and a business person. Everybody else is strictly volunteer. The volunteers are the lifeblood of the organization. Uh, I said one time, I don't understand how electricity works, but I know if I walk into a dark room and flip a switch, the room lights up. With volunteers, I don't know why people volunteer, I just know that when they volunteer, Meals on Wheels in Hyde Park becomes a great organization. The, the meals are varied from chicken and, and fish, um, meatloaf, um, during the summertime, they were providing some cold salads for people. That, that was nice. The meal I personally had was last year for St. Patrick's Day. They had corned beef, and it was available for purchase for volunteers if we wanted to try the meals. And I can tell you, it's probably the first time I ever really enjoyed corned beef. It was really good. <laughs> Most of the people who receive Meals on Wheels receive it on an ongoing basis. <clears throat> you can also receive it on a, on a short-term basis, so people who've had, which is pretty standard anymore, have their knees replaced or their hips replaced, and they're unable to shop for or prepare their own meals for a brief period of time, they can receive Meals on Wheels as well for that short period of time. And the age doesn't matter. You can be under the age of 60 and still receive that service. One of the other things about Meals on Wheels, in addition to the food, which is obviously very important, but it's also a visit each day from somebody. Uh, oftentimes, we're the only people that an individual might be seeing on that individual day. It's that personal contact that also makes a difference. It allows the people to feel more connected, less isolated, and know that they're still important in the community.